back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're here for the very first time i am antoinette the girl next door so today i'm going to be doing a product review um with it's a tin and shea moisture this has been a holy grail this is like one of the first products i've ever started with when i went natural so i am going to be doing half and half so basically today is my wash day and i'm going to be trying two new products basically i'm going to be using my regular red can nothing's changed right now I'll probably use that for like another month or so then switch up with some new products so let me know if you have any advice for new products but yeah so i'm about to wash i'm not going to really go through my wash routine because you guys have seen it or if you haven't seen it, you could check out some of my videos of my red can wash routines. So I'm starting out with really, really dirty hair, as you can see. Dirty hair, I just took out my, my kinky curly sew-in, so I barely combed it out, which is not good. So I'm about to like start washing my hair, and I'm going to go in with my Garnier Fructis One Minute Hair Mask. I tried this for the first time last month, completely obsessed. I went back and got like four more of these because i know like as you can see it's almost gone so i'm gonna go in there with this with first to pre-pull my hair and comb it out and then um oh and i'm trying a new product today i got this from vanity hair and i'm super excited i'm excited about today's hair wash so yeah let's just get started hey neighbors so like i said today is my wash day i'm using my normal products that i've been using for like the last three months my red can as you can see my hair is very dry very thick um it, but it's healthy but this is what my hair looks like as far as wash now that it's washed shampooed and i have my red can deep conditioner in my hair so i'm going to leave that in between like 30 minutes 30 to 45 minutes this is actually the hair that i lost uh, I was kind of disappointed to see it because I haven't shed in quite some time, but shedding is good. It's natural. It's normal. Um, I'm probably going to do like a protein treatment um, next month. But so I have my deep conditioner in. I'm about to put my blow up hair dryer on my head. I'm going to sit under there for about 45 minutes. Of course my boyfriend is super annoying and he is gonna bother me this whole time so he wants to try the dryer out I'm gonna let him burn his head up and try the sit under the dryer he's super super annoying so I'm trying to get him out of this chair so I can get back to doing what I need to do which is uh, deep condition my hair So now that it's done, I am all washed the deep conditioner out. <laughs> don't pay attention to my towel. I don't know where I got that from, but I love that hair towel. So this is what my hair looks like um, after washing it, combing it out, deep conditioning it. Pretty soft. Um, I, again, I think I need a treatment. So right now I'm just parting my hair all the way down the middle because I'm going to get um, prepared to do the side by side of the Shea Moisture and the It's a 10. So one half is going to be with It's a 10 and one half is going to be Shea Moisture. Now that I have a middle part, I am actually fingering, ugh, fingering detangling my hair. And on this side, I'm going to try the It's a 10 first. So I'm going to like soak my hair with It's a 10. It smells pretty good. Still the same smell like I remember. I don't know why I bought this big bottle. Um, this bottle ran me about $30, I think. So now I'm going to start from the back. Again, finger detangle my hair. I'm going to comb it out and I'm going to spray more It's a 10 in it and go through it with a blow dryer. So that's what I'm doing. And you guys know the rule of thumb, um, combing your hair out, start from the ends and work your way up. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm combing my hair out, making sure it's like good and straight before I like go in with the blow dryer. And um, I started with the It's a 10 side first. And I'll just tell you, it's just like I remember the It's a 10 like left my hair feeling well, first of all, it was really difficult to get it dry. And I remember it being that way because like the product is like really sticky. I do think it works, but for my texture, which is 4C, like my hair was felt very, very sticky, but it was straight. I mean, you could see it's like getting straight, but it, it, it leaves a weird texture on your hair. Well, my hair, like I said, 
Um, it just makes it feel really, really heavy, and I think that's why I stopped using it the first time. But as you can see, the first part of my hair is all blown out. It looks healthy. So now let's see what the same Shea Moisture <laughs> product, let's see what it does in my hair. So again, I'm going to go in um, with it, and I am going to spray it all in my hair. I am going to, well, as you can see, before I like start spraying it, it's very thick and creamy. Like very thick and creamy and at first I was like skeptical about like putting cream in my hair because it's even more difficult for it to blow dry and blow dry like like really dry but this was very lightweight and it smelled pretty amazing so I'm wrapping the blow dry side up I'm taking my fingers I'm finger, finger detangling and then I'm gonna go in with the blow dryer same step So as you guys can see, like my hair is dry. It is not sticky or heavy like the It's a 10. Like I'm just gonna jump on the bandwagon and tell you I love this product and I'm probably gonna use it in like all of my washes. Like this Shea Moisture product, the dupe is way better than It's a 10 and I didn't wanna say it, but it is. I love it a lot, it's very lightweight, it smells amazing. It's, it's a 10, it's good, it's a good product, but for my 4C hair, it just makes it sticky and weigh it down. Oops, sorry, like yeah, like I'm being dramatic now. So I'm just going through with the blow dryer just one last time to make sure my hair is super dry. I would highly recommend both products, but the Shea Moisture, yeah. As you can see, my hair looks nice and healthy and I'm feeling bomb. And y'all know the dramatics is coming through. I have to like shake my thick, thick, nice hair. For whatever reason, I still feel like being a little damp. So I'm gonna put my hair parted in four ways. Go back again with the blow dry one more time. This time the setting is on low. I just wanna make sure my hair is dry. But like I said, I'm hopping on a Shea Moisture bandwagon. Like my hair feels super healthy. I'm not gonna say I'm not using the It's a 10 again because I feel like my hair did grow, but I don't know. Maybe I can try it for a wash and go. Let me, let me know if you guys have tried the It's a 10 and how the results you had in your hair. So again, this is my final result. I'm gonna tell you the dupe is way better for my 4C hair. Let me know if you tried this um and again i'm just like showing you i'm just showing off at this point but anyway i'm gone don't forget to hit the subscribe button y'all i'll see y'all next time